I'm Sol Ballard. I'm a native of Pasoan who's returned home after traveling the continent, paving my own path and fulfilling my dream. I got to admit, I find myself excited by what I see. I invite you to join me on this journey and check out the hottest trends, explore community changing projects, and dive deeper into the cultural roots of our city as a new generation changes the face of El Paso. I'm in El Paso, Texas. Right behind me over there, across the river, you see Juarez, Mexico. So I am from a border town. And it's very interesting. I mean, we're literally standing on US soil and looking over to Mexico. Hope is actually in town. So this is like a very historic day for us here at El Paso. And the reason why I brought you here is because I wanted to show you where I come from. Because I think it's very important for you to know where you come from so you know where you're going. I'm here with Virgil, who's part of the El Paso Permaculture Group. Virgil, what is permaculture? So pretty much what permaculture is, it's the philosophy of working with nature instead of against it. So how is that different from being self-sustainable? Well, self-sustainable, it's pretty much just saying remaining in the same in the same place okay. instead of being regenerative which is a word that we use in permaculture which is always evolving always mm -hmm. changing always becoming better created here at the Fab Lab that I am absolutely wild about. The Fab Lab is short for Fabrication Laboratory. Um, we are a nonprofit that was established two years ago, um, entirely grassroots. It was started by me and my husband, Gustavo Arriaga. Um, you know, the Fab Lab is really a community resource for people who have creative ideas um, and they want to use digital fabrication tools to bring those ideas um, to life. At the moment, we're printing out a couple robots to use as examples for the different settings that we can have for the um, printers. Get the awesome secret Pasco hands to, to entertain awesome song. I'm not too comfortable too far from the star Well I don't find success Interesting as art one of El Paso's newest spots in town, Hotel Indigo. It's the perfect symbol of how young visionaries are infusing old water culture with a new vibrant Cosmo flair.
Seacoast in El Paso. You know, really good for downtown as far as jobs are concerned, as far as the renovations of downtown. It's something that El Paso has been really needing. The ballpark opening up, Doubletree, another hotel that's opened up in the area, you know, some of the local restaurants, some of the bars that have been coming along. We're just adding to that and helping to make El Paso grow and become one of those major cities that, you know, tourists love to visit.